Welcome back to Model Works Canada. Today we're going to review a kit that we've just finished building. We're going to review Lindbergh's Authentic Pirate Pistols, the Flintlock. <clears throat> um, never done anything like this before either, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, this pistol is supposed to belong to Stead Bonnet or Steed Bonnet, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, the Pirate. A um, little bit of history, since it's a historical kind of build, I guess. Uh, Stead Bonnet was born in 1688, started a life of piracy in the summer of 1717. Um, and then he sailed down to the Bahamas, raided Barbadian ships, and then he chummed around with Blackbeard for a while. Um, and on, in December of 1717, he failed to uh, capture a Spanish ship, and his crew left him for Blackbeard aboard the... Queen Anne Revenge, and uh, Stead Bonnet then decided to live as a guest on Blackbeard's ship. Um, in 1718, he got his own uh, command again. I think the ship was called the Royal James, and uh, he got into, uh, I believe the man's name was Captain Rhett. Uh, he got into a gunfight with him and surrendered, and he was tried and sentenced to hang. Um, the end of October 1718. Uh, he escaped and was found in a place called Sullivan's Island, I believe it was, um, like November 10th of the same year. So, uh, and he did end up hanging. So he was 29, 30 years old, and uh, he had been a pirate for a year and a half, and he was dead. He was born to wealthy English parents, which afforded him some money when he started his uh, pirating career, so he would have had a flintlock pistol similar, I guess, to this. Um, I've done a lot of simulated gold, not gold leaf, but uh, a lot of fine hand painting on this kit, and I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out, and I also uh, got some practice in um, painting faux wood tones, uh, which is also totally new to me. So. Um, Let's dive in a little bit closer and let's see how this kit turned out. Yeah, just taking a quick look down this side of the, uh, the model kit. It's uh, supposed to look like a really dirty aged wood and a, a dirtied up uh, metal uh, accompaniment on the, on the kit. Um, I wanted it to look old. I wanted it to look like it's been used and fired, like some of the gold leaf has come off or rubbed off. And, wood has been worn and rubbed and you can see it's darker in areas where it would have been held than others. Here we've got um, some metallic, uh, Humbro metallic 53 dry brushed with uh, chrome silver. It worked really well for that aged metal look. Here we've got a heavy black and dark gray wash over the wood tones at the end to bring out those shadows. Uh, coming down here, they got some really good fade in here. When we get down to the, the ramrod, it starts to get a little dirtier as you can see because that area is obviously going to be handled a lot more. <clears throat> as in here you can see the gold tip on the rod and then uh, the wooden ram itself uh, coming back here we see the top of the weapon a lot of fine detail painting up here really happy with the way that turned out it just looks fantastic um, but it did take some quite uh, quite some time to get all that painting and here we see the uh, where I've made the the uh, gold plating or foil look like it's been rubbed off or worn off and the weapon gets progressively heavier as we get towards the lock right here as you can see it's at its heaviest um, there is a lot of decorative painting down the barrel of this this little kid I was surprised and shocked by it so uh, very very happy with the uh, way it turned out uh, as a whole some filler work back near the butt of the uh, pistol um, but other than that it wasn't too bad it sanded down level just after gluing so really happy yeah really happy all right there we have it Lindbergh's pirate pistols the flintlock really enjoyed putting it together really enjoyed bringing it to you expect a video within the next week or so bench update we're going to show a bunch of new kits we've got in-house and we've started and uh, expect the debut of one or both of my sons in that video okay well until then keep building thanks for stopping by eh